Uh, we just got done playing UTEP in El Paso tonight and came from 1-0 down to win 2-1. Um, absolutely superb performance by the girls. Um, the, so it was an excruciating long day to get here yesterday with two flights and flight delays and going through storms and just, you know, the delays. We didn't get in until 12 o'clock um, last night. And then to turn around and put in a performance like we did today is immensely proud as a coaching staff of, you know, a collective effort of the team. I mean, when we've had a tough season results-wise, it showed a lot of character and a lot of quality today to just continue to keep getting better even as we close out the season in the last three games. Um, but, you know, we uh, really took it to them in the second half. I thought we dominated the, the game in the second half. Um, deserved to equalise. Great goal by Rebecca Bailey. Um, stepped on it and hit it with real pace and conviction. Went in off the post. And that's the kind of luck that we needed. We haven't had in previous games, but this time we hit the post and went in for us. And we kept going. You, the, the, the girls were growing in belief. We were playing well. We were creating chances. And thankfully, we took another one of our chances. Megan McAllis, a young player, a young freshman, um, banged in the game winner. And that's that's the, the real positive thing to take. This is a young team growing up every day. And, um, you know, un undoubtedly, we've had some tough results of late. But the, to come so far and travel halfway across the country and be a difficult day to travel and play like we did tonight, as a coach and staff, we're immensely proud. So great, great win. Super proud of them and the character and the quality they showed tonight. And now we've got to go get another win on Sunday and keep that winning feeling going again. Thanks so much, Niner Nation. Appreciate it.